Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today's classy and elegant shop with me for 2022. I had a little try on in Cos and other stories and Bash Paris and I found so many beautiful pieces that I would be more than happy to add into my own capsule wardrobe. So I'm really excited to show you all, hear what you all think and obviously do let me know your favourites in the comments section below. Also, stating the obvious, I've gone a little bit lighter with my hair so I shall be telling you the whys and the wherefores of that a little bit later in this video as well. But first, come and have a little shop with me. And this one has gone straight to the top of the list on my favorite outfits. And that's my spot chit chat for the day. So I've got all the footage on my phone, so I'm gonna go through everything, tell you what I tried on, why I liked it, why I didn't like it, and also how I would style it. So first up, I went to And Other Stories. I haven't actually been in their store for ages because they don't actually have one local to me. So whenever I'm in London, I tend to pop in, have a little look at the new collection, and although I generally do most of my purchases online, it's nice to be able to see the new pieces in store and have a bit of a try on first. So no surprises here with this first item that caught my eye, a very Parisian looking tweed style jacket. Now at the time of filming this video, this very beautiful jacket, which I personally would like to purchase as well, is the only item I'm about to show you that is sadly very nearly out of stock. Unless you're a very tiny size 34, it's almost gone. Naturally, I am kicking myself that I didn't buy it there and then, but I'm really hoping they bring it back in stock because it's absolutely beautiful. I really love this piece. Now, funnily enough, how I've styled that tweed jacket in this footage is probably how I would wear it the most if I was to buy it. It's lucky that I had my stripe button top on because that is definitely the sort of combination I like. Obviously the jacket is quite smart and I much prefer to contrast that with something dressed down like my jeans. Even though the jacket would work with tailored trousers, I think I much prefer that juxtaposition between the two different styles. Now onto something which is very much still in stock as it's new in on their website, designed in Paris, this beautiful scalloped blouse. I love the collar detail, I think those sleeves are so pretty. And it's one of those pieces that whether you dressed it down like I am in this footage with a pair of jeans or you wanted to smarten it up maybe for work, it would work for both. It is particularly on trend at the moment, but at the same time, it's not really going to date. It's just a very pretty blouse. So in terms of styling, obviously this kind of shirt goes really nicely with a pair of blue washed denim jeans. But I think it would work equally well with a pair of wide leg tailored trousers, maybe a bit of a platform on your shoes as well. I think that would be quite nice to introduce the trend there with a slight 70s kind of vibe, but not too much, just a sprinkle. Also, actually, Thinking about the fashion trends for 2022 that we've been talking an awful lot about in my videos recently, it would be really nice to style that shirt with the white on white trend. So maybe actually make those white leg trousers something in a similar tone. So one, you're doing that one column of color, but two, you're ticking that white on white trend. I think that would look a really lovely and quite pretty combination. So I really love that one. It's definitely on my shopping list. Then onto those lovely wide leg jeans that I'm wearing with lots of these different tops and jackets because I'm really like the fit so I didn't want to take them off. Now I've looked since on the website and apparently they're meant to have that quite firm press crease down the front which actually looks really nice. This pair that I found in store didn't have that so I wasn't really getting that full effect but I liked them anyway. They're sitting really high as quite a high waist but in contrast to some others that I've tried which is probably why I kept them on quite a lot they felt like they were really flattering. And um, please, haters, don't say, no, they're not, you look really fat, <laughs> because I felt quite nice in them. And styling-wise, aside from the usual stripes or pretty blouses, I would probably style them with. I actually thought these types of jeans would actually be the sort of thing I would style with those spaghetti strap tops, you know, that mid-90s look that we're gonna be seeing for this spring summer. That would make a really nice combination, actually, so I might have to get those too. As I mentioned earlier, mini skirts, of course, are one of the big fashion trends for 2022. And actually, in my wearable fashion trends video I actually picked out this particular skirt as I thought it ticked the box perfectly so this one's got a slight a-line to it so a little bit more forgiving on the old hips but the shining glory for me with this particular one is that beautiful texture which I think just makes it feel a little bit extra special something a bit different I would probably style that mini skirt with a very simple classic white tee or maybe even just a tiny bit of color in it dressing it down on my top half to contrast with that quite polished looking skirt on my bottom half and on my feet I would probably just go with a pair of belly flats keeping it really simple and nice and elegant. In England, you don't actually have to wear masks anymore in shops or changing rooms, but I wore one on this particular shopping trip 
quite vainly because from the nose down I had the worst breakout of spots you've ever seen. I think I would have scared you all away if I'd have shown you, <laughs> but particularly the right side of my face was like dot to dot between them all. I actually ended up going to, sorry I'm just waffling on about spots here, but I went to the doctor um, and I thought I'd mention it just in case anybody else is feeling like their face is not their own at the moment. This stuff that she gave me really, really helped. So it was prescription only, and I think it's called Differin. Um, so if you are having a crazy old breakout and it's not normal for you, it is really worth going to your doctor because this cream was like magic for me. Anyway, that's my spot chin chat for the day, just in case you all wanted to know. Back to my shopping. And to one very, very pretty little knit. Quite Parisian looking again, actually, as a lot of things were in and other stories at the moment. First of all, of course, I can never resist a stripe. I think that's what caught my eye originally. But then when you look closer, I think even the yarn detail to this one is really pretty. I like the fact that the collar is in the contrasting navy. And of course, that very gentle bit of embellishment with those floral buttons, making it feel a little bit more special. I am wearing the small, I believe, so a nice fit. I don't think you need to size up. I actually don't think these types of styles work if you go oversized. I think they need to fit quite true. At the moment, I would say I would definitely wear this with tights and a mini skirt, but I do see this as a really true transitional piece as we move into spring. Um, perhaps you don't want to wear a big heavy coat, but obviously it's a knit, so you've got a bit of extra warmth and wearing it on its own, obviously you get to show off that lovely top. Now I styled that knitted top with another pair of trousers that I picked up in store. These are the wide leg corduroy trousers in a dark blue tone. I do really like corduroy trousers and I would say normally and other stories are brilliant in terms of their fit. I just felt in the changing room, I thought oh, these are coming up a bit short and I've since looked on the website and they were meant to be a crop. However, on me, I thought they were kind of in between. They didn't feel short enough to be a proper crop and normally I would say I prefer trousers like that to be quite long literally just skimming the floor so for that reason I wasn't hugely enamored with this pair of trousers I don't think it's really working for me now before we move on to all the lovely pieces I tried on in cos I have one more gorgeous jumper to show you in stripes of course because I am a creature of habit but I reason with myself that this one is slightly different to the other stripes I have in my wardrobe because this one is in beige and black I deliberately tried it on in a medium because I wanted it more oversized um, certainly with stripe jumpers I seem to prefer that. But obviously if you're not too keen on that slouchy look you could just go true to size. And the beige just felt like a bit more of a softer option to pair with. A nice pair of tailored trousers, maybe some loafers on your feet. So then I headed over to COS and I have to say just having a little look around the store, having a look through the rails, the one thing that was immediately really obvious was the quality of everything. It's just so, so good. I really like COS. I would definitely put it in say my top five favourite stores. So first up I tried on this single breasted blazer in a dark grey tone and totally fell in love with it. Now I didn't realise this in store but it says that it's made from wool and in all honesty don't let that put you off if you're thinking about springs coming up and then summer and it'll be too warm. It's not heavyweight at all. I would have actually guessed that it was viscose maybe with a touch of silk in there or something. I definitely think it would work for now, transitional period, moving into spring and possibly even summer actually depending on where you live. I think I could get away with it here. Styling wise I actually really like the combination that I'm wearing in this video. Um, those were the trousers I'm wearing. They are quite tailored that I got from Jigsaw and the t-shirt is actually from COS which I will show you in a minute. But keeping it really simple like that but quite tailored, I think one, it looks particularly on trend for this season but it's very classic, it's very timeless. None of those individual pieces are going to date and together I actually really like the combination. Now if you've followed my channel for a while you probably have already gathered that I don't really wear a lot of bright colours. I much prefer quite a neutral palette of clothes. So it was really random that I even picked up this pair of trousers in the first place. Obviously the tailoring is beautiful which is something that COS always do so well but I never thought I would like such a bright colour on me. It's possibly down to the fact that I'm styling them with a blue jumper, which I will show you in a moment, and the two of them together just really works. But there are those occasions where you happen upon a piece that really, really surprises you, which is definitely what happened with this pair of trousers. And then here is a closer look at that jumper in the light blue. As is the case with most, if not all, of COS's knitwear, um, this has been made from a blend of alpaca and wool that's been certified by the responsible wool standard. So they really are making an effort to be as sustainable as possible. So I fell in love with both of those pieces, worryingly. 
um, and that's pretty much how I would style it together as one colour block. Slight contrasting tones but I think it's a really lovely combination together, one of my favourite outfits. Bit of a half zip jumper for you now but again like a lot of the pieces in COS it was quality that really stood out for me and made me pick this one off the rail. What I liked about this half zip jumper compared to some of the others that I've got is that this felt a little bit more fitted. That hem is quite deep and it's really sort of sitting nicely across my waistband giving me a bit more definition. And although I do like it actually styled with those tailored trousers, I was looking at this footage back and thinking that would actually look really nice with some of these tube dresses that we're seeing for this spring summer as well. So certainly again for now, uh, while it's quite cold, as we move into transitional period, obviously probably not for summer, but for these cooler months I think this was a great option on the half zip jumper trend. Now I remember I've tried this striped jumper on before from COS and for some reason I didn't show you the footage. I think I was going to do a bit of a shop with me and and then never got round to it. So anyway, I tried it on again, still loved it just as much as I did the first time I tried it. As you can see in this footage, it is very much oversized. I think this is a small that I'm trying on and when I pull it out, as you can see, it is quite long. So if you're not a fan of oversized jumpers, this one probably isn't for you because there's definitely no getting around it. Saying that, I do actually, with all of my oversized jumpers, tend to do a bit of a half tuck just to give your body a little bit more shape. I think if you just leave everything out and baggy and often paired with quite wide leg trousers, you can just end up feeling a little bit like a ball and I don't think anybody wants to feel like a ball. So yeah, just give yourself a little bit more shape, do a bit of a half tuck or maybe even just tuck it at the front and let the back hang down. Now I spotted this dress on the rail in the store and first of all, obviously that colour caught my eye. I thought it was beautiful. But on top of that, it was the fabric that I just thought was absolutely stunning. I was actually very surprised to read that it was made from cotton, as I thought there must be some element of silk to it. It's got a slight sheen to the fabric, it felt beautifully soft. I think you'd need to see that one in person to appreciate how beautiful it was. The shame, however, was when I tried it on, I don't think the actual style is doing much for my shape. I do think the shape of that sleeve is beautiful, but it's a bit top heavy, plus a bit bottom heavy, and so overall all I just look like I'm wearing a sack. A very beautiful burgundy toned sack but a sack all the same. So for that reason I probably wouldn't go for this dress but I will be keeping an eye out for that particular fabric at COS because I fell in love with it, I thought it was beautiful. So this next item might just bridge the gap between me wanting a little bit more colour in my wardrobe but equally the dress not really suiting my shape. So this is a top version of that lovely burgundy tone. And although I did actually think this was the same fabric that I tried on before, this one has actually been made from a blend of silk. Again, you've got that really lovely shape to those sleeves. I like the V-neck, the fact that it's quite a boxy fit, so I can cinch it in if I'm wearing it with trousers or a pair of jeans. Or actually looking at this footage, I think it would work really nicely with a long maxi skirt. I think I bought one last summer from COS actually in navy. Um, it's quite tapered with a very gentle fishtail at the bottom. I think that would work really nicely together. So there's actually some really nice colours in COS at the moment which are slowly <laughs> enticing me out of all my favoured neutrals. And next up I wanted to show you what I have unofficially named the best classic white t-shirt out there on the high street at the moment. Now I have tried a lot of white t-shirts in my quest to find the perfect one around. And this one has gone straight to the top of the list and it's only retailing at 15 pounds. It's very hard for me in footage to get across just how beautiful the quality of that cotton really is. But trust me when I say, it was absolutely beautiful. I mean, it is organic cotton, but there was definitely a brushed feeling to it. So it was super, super soft. It's a little bit more heavyweight than some of my others, but it felt really substantial, like it's going to last you for years. So I tried it on in both the white and the striped version. Um, and I also tried it on in the small and the medium for contrast. And I would definitely say if you like something a little bit more oversized, maybe size up or possibly two sizes. And I will probably end up buying that in a few different colors as I just love the quality so much. Definitely a winner. Next up, I headed to Bash Paris, one of my favorite Parisian brands, which I've loved for a very, very long time. But particularly this season, they've got one beautiful collection. I want just about everything that they've made, which is very worrying for my bank balance, but amazing for my wardrobe. Now I must apologize for the filming here. They didn't have a mirror in the changing room. So I had to come out into sort 
sort of the communal area and I felt really paranoid. So I do like a little quick bit with my camera and then put it away. But hopefully there's enough footage there to get a gist of the pieces I chose. So first up I found this beautiful cardigan in a sprinkle of gold which I thought would be even nicer as we move from spring to summer and hopefully I've got a bit more of a tan. Something else I've noticed with Bash Paris this season as well is their new sustainable collection which I am really really happy about. I've loved this brand for a very long time so now to see them making this commitment to being more sustainable with the fabrics they choose is really really good news in my humble opinion. Next I fell in love with this jumper again fitting in really nicely at the waistband but I thought that shoulder detail was really interesting makes it stand out and then finished off perfectly with a tiny bit of sparkle with those lovely buttons. Now you can't really go into Bash Paris and not try on one of their dresses because they're known for it and they're absolutely beautiful. So I tried this one that's got quite a deep V across the front and then you've got a tie belt that went around the back. Then you've got that beautiful metallic detail with the floor running through the dress. I just think it was absolutely stunning. But in all honesty, I love all of their dresses. I would happily have any of them in my wardrobe. So it's definitely worth having a look at their collection which I shall link in the description box below at the end of this video because I'd hazard a guess you'll find at least one, two, probably three that you would like to add to basket. This skirt is new in for spring summer 2022 and not only does it come in the midi length with the split that I tried but it's also available in a mini version as well so whatever you prefer on that front. I love those covered buttons and that tiny bit of ruching over the hip area I think that's a really nice detail. Now although this jumper doesn't exactly go with the skirt I do think it's another beautiful piece of knitwear. Really lovely quality something a little bit different with that gold thread running through it in those stripes and again just that point of difference making it stand out from the rest with that little bit of sparkle with those buttons as you can see it does look better styled with my trousers than it does with the skirt not that I don't think it would look nice styled with the skirt but I didn't think the green the gold and the cream worked too nicely together I would probably style that midi skirt with a nice cami top maybe a nice pair of mules for the evening or the same outfit and a cardigan over the top for the daytime maybe just tuck it in a little bit at the front I would imagine that skirt would be far more versatile than you might first think so just a couple of pieces from Bash Paris there but it'd be really interesting to hear if you'd like me to do more of an in-depth look at the brand and the new collection so do let me know in the comment section if that's something you'd like to see and I will happily get ordering. So a little debrief on the hair situation and as you can see I decided to go a little bit lighter. Now I am aware that I am particularly indecisive with my hair which you've probably gathered already if you've seen a run of my videos over the past year even. I do get really bored with it quickly and I'm probably a little bit too spontaneous sometimes. I sit in the hairdresser's chair and they suggest something and I go, yeah, let's do it, let's just change it. And although I did love the dark brown and lots of you wrote some really beautiful comments which I was very flattered for them, so thank you very much for that. I was finding that I was having to wear an awful lot more makeup um, being brunette than I do when I'm blonde. And as we move into spring and then summer I want to be wearing less makeup not more so that was part of my reasoning thinking that summer's coming up and I want something a little bit lighter all round originally I went dark because I wanted to give my hair a bit of a rest from all the highlights get the condition back looking really nice again but actually as it happened because I went quite short with it and my hair's fine but there's quite a lot of it I found that I've had to straighten it within an inch of its life to stop it going like a big lampshade which then negates the idea of dyeing it brown and you know helping the condition so anyway I'm really waffling now but long story short I wanted to go a bit lighter so I went to my absolute favorite hair salon ever um, who I used to go to years and years ago when I worked at Sky Sports uh, Joe Hansford in Harvey Nichols. So it's lovely but very lethal heading to their hair salon because you wind all the way up through the women's collections before you get to the salon. If you're thinking of a hair colour change I cannot recommend Joe Hansford enough. They are absolute experts in their field and world renowned for what they do. Normally I see Louisa for colour, this time I saw the lovely Megan and Jessie always does a wonderful cut and blow dry for me to finish. So yes I am very happy with my new hair. I think that caramel tone is beautiful Beautiful. I might go a touch blonder next time but I'll probably keep it in this realm of kind of caramel brownie blonde I think that works nicest for me and that is pretty much it I really hope you've enjoyed coming along and having a bit of a shop with me at Cos and other stories and the beautiful Bash Paris and of course seeing my indecisiveness in action and coming along
along to the beautiful salon Joe Hansford. As always, it's really lovely to hear from you all in the comment section below, so do let me know your favourite piece that I featured today, and I shall see you next week for lots more styling and fashion advice. Have a good week, everyone. Take care.